What's up guys, welcome to the BC Driven YouTube channel where we're doing yet another Razor video. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you something that you guys really need to be doing to your machines. Uh, Razor, you know this really could go for any platform, Razor, uh, Honda, Canon, I, I can't even, I can't even say it, I can't say it. Let's get into it. So as you probably guessed from the placement of the light and camera here, we're going to be changing the belt on the Razor. Uh, she got about 1,700 miles on it, probably getting close to 1,800 now. And we got a pretty big trip coming up and I just don't want to have to worry with it. So we're going to be putting a brand new Gates belt on it. This is the carbon belt. Uh, here these are actually bad for the clutches, but really this video is not about how to change a belt. It's really more about, hmm, I guess it's really more about how I change the belt. You'll see. We're going to be changing this using only tools that we carry on the trail. Uh, this is something that I think a lot of people take for granted. The stock toolkit actually has everything you need in it to change the belt. So that's what I'm going to be using. I always keep this little guy on the glove box. You want to use the tools that you're going to have with you on the trails to do that kind of maintenance because that'll let you know, you know, what you're missing, right? Uh, you know, I got toolboxes over there, slap full of tools, but I'm not going to have those with me on the trail and if I'm sitting here changing my belt and I'm like, dang, if I just put a ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket in my toolkit, it would speed this up and make it 10 times easier. You know, that's the kind of things you want to you wanna vet out. You have to forgive me for not getting too up close and personal with the camera. Uh, you know, it's already pretty tight in here anyways and trying to stick that camera in here is just going to make it that much worse. But like I said, we're going to be using the tools that come with a machine. And the first thing you're going to need is this little guy right here and this guy. So we're going to take this uh, clamp off this tube. So we're going to use that same tube and L wrench thing and we're going to take all these green uh, cover bolts off. Don't know how many there is just yet, but I'll let you know here shortly. So can confirm that the cover screws are not a 10 millimeter, but I want to say whatever size they are, I got one in my toolkit. This actually, this is the ratchet and socket out of my toolkit. So I'm just taking this clamp off to move this tube out of the way. And I actually may take that other clamp off and get this tube completely out of the way. So we'll just peek in here to see what kind of shape the factory belt's in. Oh my God, that thing is wore to pieces. I can't believe I was even pulling still. Yeah, yeah, I like to try to be funny every now and again. So, stock belt, uh, you know, we'll see when we get it all what kind of condition it's in, but it don't look too bad, really. Okay, there's the sauce. Back end, up, bottom end, in, top end, out. And that kind of, kind of gets you vertical there. I don't know if you can even see. Maybe you can. Gets you kind of vertical there and it comes off. No idea how much of this you're going to be able to tell, but we're going to take this clutch tool and I believe, I can't remember if you, which way you hook it. Basically just hook it in there and mash the clutch down like that. I'm definitely going to need two hands to do this, but you get the gist of it. You got to use this to Pry your clutch back. Ooh. 
That was pretty rough. Obviously, it'd be really nice to take these clutches off, take them apart, clean them up. We're just going to let the dust settle. I'm going to go scrub in my new belt, put it on, put it all back together. All right, so clean belt. Uh, you know, it's always a good idea on a brand new belt to wash it down with a degreaser like dish soap or really any type of degreaser. But just make sure there's no oils or factory coatings on these things. Uh, also, that hot water kind of helped loosen up that memory it had. So we're just going to slap this thing back on here, put it back together, and we'll wrap this up. And to quote the famous Haynes manual reinstall in opposite order of removal, we're just going to rotate this thing kind of up, kind of back, kind of fight it a little bit. Almost knocked the camera over. Got the clutch cover all reinstalled, uh, new belt on, and like I said, this wasn't necessarily supposed to be a tutorial on how to change a belt. It was more of the concept of I changed the belt using only the factory tools for the machine, the tools that I'm going to have with me, whether I'm riding around the front yard or you know riding across the state of Tennessee. So uh, you know, if you want to go a step further. You may take a brake caliper off, change your brake pads, and see what all size wrenches and sockets you use, and make sure you have those with you. Trust me, uh, practice this in your driveway, in your garage. Uh, anytime you got to do something to the machine, just, you know, play along with it. Just say, hey, you know, what if I had to do this and I was in the middle of a trail? What would I do in that situation? Well, I'd go back here to my toolbox, I'd get out my socket set, I'd get out my, you know, ratchet strap, I'd get out my jack, my winch, whatever I got. Uh, it's that kind of, kind of mindset that really helps you prepare for everything when you're out there in the woods. So, thanks for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button down here. Ring the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post a new video. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.